Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today, I am going to be doing a side-by-side -side hair tool comparison. I think this is the first time that I film a video testing out a waiver. I like never use waivers on my hair. This one is only $25 and it's from Revlon. And then this one is from Lange and this is $100. Yeah, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison and see which one is better which one i prefer so i tried this one for a vlogmas video that never was posted i just didn't post it because the quality of my video wasn't that good and i was actually like setting up my new studio so like some stuff were off so i never really got the chance to post this video so i'm gonna do a small section first i'm gonna turn this on and i am going to put this in the highest heat setting so this is interesting because it only has like different levels of heat so i'm gonna just do the highest heat setting i'm gonna do the number 30 i'll put the heat setting up here so let's try this basically you just press it and then bring it down so i'm gonna press oof this smells super super like smoky it's actually very hot i'm gonna try to do this quickly so that i don't like put too much heat on my hair so let's try this so first section and then bring it down okay you see a little bit of a wave do you guys see that okay bring it down I'm definitely seeing a little bit of a wave and I like it I like that this waiver gives you like smaller waves I've tried other ones that give you more of like a big wave but it's like you can't really see the wave so it's like almost pointless to do it so i prefer waivers like this one that give you a smaller wave you can definitely see it there okay oof there's a lot of smoke look at that that's so nice Ooh, i love it I'm almost done with this side. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to do the whole side, actually. Obviously, you know. But. Yeah, so far, I really do like this hair tool. Like I said, I tried it before. But I didn't really do all my hair with it. But now, looking at it, it's like, wow. You really do get some nice waves with this hair tool. And it's so affordable. It's only $25. I mean, if you just use hair tools like this, like once in a blue moon, not like every week, I wouldn't really recommend that. Then your hair is going to be pretty fried. But if you use this like once in a blue moon, maybe like for a special event or something, then yeah, totally worth it. If you don't usually wave your hair then yeah go for something like this that's a little bit more affordable but if you do put a lot of heat on your hair then maybe try getting something that's better for heat damage something that's going to be a little bit more gentle on your hair something with like more heat control for example dyson and ghd t3 micro are like all brands that really do like focus on that on like the heat control on like keeping your hair like very healthy trying not to like overdo it with the heat and i love those brands i really do they have some of the best hair tools out there but revlon does have some super nice affordable hair tools as well that are maybe not the best for heat damage but they do get the job done and if you need to do it like once in a blue moon like i said then yeah definitely worth it who else watches the bachelor it's such a popular show i don't love the concept too much but it's entertaining <laughs> and i think that rachel is gonna win for some reason i feel like rachel's gonna win i actually really like michelle for matt she's ready for a very mature relationship she's ready to go to the next level you know get married have kids she's a teacher she's so cute um but i don't know i have a feeling that he's gonna pick rachel what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below i wonder if i post this after the finale you know i'm I think I'm going to post this before. I don't think he's going to pick Brie at all. I think she's going to be third place. But she's gorgeous. But I don't see that connection. You know what I mean? But she is stunning. Um. Oh my god. 
this is so nice. I love the waves that I got. They look adorable. Looks very sexy. Um, if I put even like dry shampoo, if I put like hairspray or something, I feel like I can get even more volume. But yeah, it looks actually very nice. I can see myself doing these waves more often, but I have to see how this one works. I have tried launch hair tools before and they really are good quality and they are super gentle on my hair. This is actually a little bit bigger than the Revlon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the barrels are definitely bigger. And I feel like I'm gonna get different waves with this one. So here's a quick like before and after. So this is the Revlon. Super cute waves, super sexy. <laughs> And then this is just like straight hair. So you definitely do get nice texture, volume. So, so far I really do like it. Okay, so I'm going to be turning this on. Obviously this has like way better technology already. You have like a screen right here. This one doesn't have it. The Revlon is also a lot smaller than the Lange, which could be really good for traveling actually. So this goes all the way up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am not gonna do that i'm gonna do i'm gonna do 360 let's do 360 and see how that works and yeah it's warming up it has the power button right here it has plus and minus for the heat settings and yeah it's just pretty self-explanatory it's very easy to use have a swivel cord as well and the revlon does have a swivel cord which is very helpful it comes in handy so it's already warmed up it warms up so quickly maybe like less than 30 seconds okay so just gonna do the same thing press it for a little bit and then just bring it down okay i got a little bit of a wave i wonder if 360 is gonna be enough for me we'll see okay gonna bring it down yeah you definitely do see a little something i have a feeling that this side is gonna look a lot shinier than the revlon side like already it definitely does look shinier than the Revlon side. The Revlon doesn't look as shiny in my opinion, but I still have to do all my hair. But yeah, there's the first section. It actually looks super, super nice. I think 360 is good. I don't think I have to go up to 400. So I'm gonna stick to 360 and I'm gonna keep doing my hair. Oh, that's cool. So you can grab it right here. You can also do that with the Revlon, but I'm okay with not grabbing it. It kind of scares me. <laughs> yeah, super cute. Super cute and very shiny. Okay, so I just want to mention neither of these hair tools pulled my hair at all. So that's what I like about these wavers that you're not pulling your hair at all. You're just basically pressing the hair tool on your hair, but it's not like you're like pulling it so i love that the only thing is that you do have to leave the hair tool and the heat on your hair for like a longer amount of time so i don't love that i feel like i'm putting so much heat on my hair when i do that but at least i'm not like pulling my hair it's not like i'm like ripping it you know what i mean i don't know i feel like you get prettier waves with the revlon i don't know <gasps> i totally burned my forehead I usually burn my ear, but never my forehead. That's so strange. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> okay, so this is what the launch side is looking like. I mean, honestly, I'm not crazy about this side. Like, it looks shiny, but I don't like the waves. I don't like how the waves look. Like, I prefer how these waves look a lot more than these waves i feel like the revlon waves look more natural this looks more like a beach wave as you can see this one the revlon one does give you more of like a curl almost you see that it is a wave but it looks more curly than this one but i mean it's not bad i don't know if i would use it again i honestly feel like i would probably reach for the revlon one because i like this side a lot more i mean what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below which side you prefer. Either way, I'm going to link down below both of these hair tools and all the products that I mentioned today. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're liking my channel so far. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>